Right our tubers, welcome back. So as promised, I'm gonna do my first ever mail time video. Two of the things I bought myself, the other one was sent to me. For a purpose of review. I'm gonna call it mail time anyway. So what have I been up to? Testing Rowan's pack, making the DIY spot welder video. The DIY spot ah, it's not a DIY spot welder. It's the community spot welder that I've been doing. I've been waiting on plugs for this. So, package number one. I do believe this may have or may not have something to do with the community spot welder, which is still a thing. But when I bought the community spot welder, I didn't realize. Okay, so I realized, I just didn't think that I'm kind of going to need to lug a battery around with it. So I'm working on that. Other than that, people can come here and use it here. I don't care. Rightio. Rightio. That is what I thought it was going to be. Focus, and I'm using my old Nikon camera. Because my iPhone X is sitting over there. XT150 connectors. So I'll be able to whack them on the end of there and, and get some power out of that. Okay. That, the, the, that was exciting. You know, if you're excited by now, just reach below and do that thumbs thing will you right yeah number two of course another one poor lighting and all see if i don't show you my address so we'll open this up now i actually don't know what this one is wait a minute i could probably read the outside medium flat rate parcel oh kingdom 3d prints okay oh. there, there you go there, there, there goes any mystery to that one Trying a different brand, and now this is out of my pocket. Or oh, come on, I'm gonna have to work on my craft doing videos. But a bit a bit more 3D filament. Oh, this is PLA. I'm just absolutely fed up with trying to do um, ABS, so I bought some more PLA from a different company this time. Um, just trying to see if there's any difference, or they're all the same. So I got. Two kilos of filament, both black. My receipt. Rightio. Now, this next box is worthy of a brand new camera angle. Before we get to said camera angle, I have to admit something. I've had this here for two weeks and I haven't been able to do anything because me Sparky's away on holiday. Well, it's working holiday. Wherever. He's not local and I've got another two weeks to wait until he gets here. And I couldn't wait till he got here, so I opened the bottom of the box so I could have a look in. I'm going to open the top of the box today so you guys can feel like you're having this experience of me opening a box. And I'll pretend like it's my first time ever seeing it. Righty, let's open the third box. Parcel. Package. While I open the box for the first time, I'd like to take the chance to thank Russell from Evolution Australia. We only met a few weeks ago at the AEVA Electric Car Convention in South Bank at Brisbane. It was my first time going to something like that, and after a quick chat, I found out he was a long-time subscriber. He said that he might have some interesting products to trial alongside my power wall. This unit is a Zappy. It's a solar hop... Oh, wait a minute. Sorry. Zappy is an intelligent solar-aware charger. This is the sort of charges that you get when you want to charge from your solar panels and, you know, not so much from the grid. But that's not what we're here for. The Eddy is a solar hot water diverter. Ooh. I was provided snacks. Thanks. I really should insert some sort of God-like movement or <laughs> Jelly beans were a fantastic idea Moving on to the Eddy hot water diverter Probably gonna have to head over to the webpage so I don't screw up the details But first it's a heavy unit Feels solid, made from metal, not plastic. And that heatsink, damn, I bet that stays so much cooler than the cheap plastic one I installed initially. This is going to be a great upgrade. 
Right, what else do we have in here? Looks like we've got a CT clamp, an aerial. It looks like some mounting screws. Now, I believe there's an app for the Eddy and the Zappy, but not sure if it's been released yet. So, the basic function of this, without going into too much details in this video, it's going to... We need another new camera angle. Let's, let's run with this one. What the device does is it diverts any extra solar into my hot water system. So if I've, I've got 5,000 watts, 6,000 watts of panels or whatever, if I'm putting 2,500 watts into the grid, I'm only getting, what, 7 cents per kilowatt hour when I sell it. Instead, this little unit uses the CT clamp and says, hey, we're not going to waste that energy sending it to the grid. And it puts it into the hot water system at 2.5 kilowatt hours. 2.5, 2,500 watts, whatever it is. So it actually, it, it dynamically works out how much how much power is being exported and tries to keep that at a zero balance constantly. And at the end of the day, you've got hot water, in my case, at any rate, my hot water is 24 cents per kilowatt hour. Plus they charge you an extra five cents a day or something for fees on the actual meter itself. There's probably other shit they charge you for as well. So effectively, I'm getting my hot water for seven cents per kilowatt hour, rather than some other made up figure, 24 cents. The link will be below. It is not an affiliated link. I don't get paid for it. So if you want to just go and have a look at the product, it is like the linky thing, so I know how many people clicked on it, but there is no affiliation. There is no payment for me. There is nothing like that. I am just super excited to actually have the opportunity to test Thanks for tuning in. I'm going to go back to me jelly beans and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers!